Hello, and welcome to Seller Mail. This intro video will cover the basics of our Seller Mail tool. Other videos in this section will go into more detail on setting up messages and message sequences. Let's get started. Before setting up your Seller Mail, you'll want to first make sure your products are synced up to the system. If you're new to Manage by Stats, go to Settings, ASINs, and make sure your products are there. Your products will need to be present in order to use Seller Mail. Note, if your product has not had a sale yet, even though you have your listing active and inventory inside Amazon, if there are no sales, Amazon does not export your product details. So, our system cannot see that it is missing a product in your inventory. You can bypass this by contacting our support team who can help you manually add the product. Next, select and activate the Seller Mail plan that's best for you. Do this under the Seller Mail tab in your Manage by Stats. You can change your plan at any time if needed. Important note, if you have more than one seller account you are managing in your Manage by Stats, be sure you have the correct account selected in your shop selector. When working in Seller Mail, all settings will apply to the selected shop you are in, and separate messages need to be created for the separate shops, accounts, or countries. Once you're signed up, one of the first things you'll want to do is create a profile. A profile is a vital part of getting your seller mail system set up professionally. Creating a profile for your brand or a profile for each of your brands allows you to have your email show up for the customer as coming from that specific brand instead of just an Amazon seller cloaked email address. It also allows you to upload a logo to use in your emails and ensures that the messages from seller mail are able to go to and out from your Amazon Seller Central account automatically. To get started, Click the plus button and enter the following information. Sender name. Whatever is in this field is what your customers will see the email coming from. Usually, this would be your brand name or company name. Send from email. This needs to be an email that is registered with your Amazon Seller Central account, either the one you use to sign in to your Seller Central or another email that you have granted permissions to from within your Seller Central account. Logo file. Here is where you can upload a logo from your brand to go along with the emails for that brand. Test mode email. This is the email you want test emails to go to. Usually this would be the email you use most often so you can see when test emails are triggered. An important reminder, the send from email must be an email which is an approved sender in your Amazon Seller Central. Do not add or use a send from email that is not an approved email sender in your Amazon Seller Central. Once done creating your profile, click Add. Message creation will be covered in the next videos. For the remainder of this video, we'll look at the other features of Seller Mail, starting with an overview of migrating from another email system. If you're changing over from some other email system, the process is fairly easy. Simply create a new message. In this case, use Start from Scratch. The details of message creation are covered in the next videos. Name the message what you want, Copy and paste the email subject from the other email system, then copy and paste the email body. All the coding and variables from the previous system should convert automatically to ours. Double check it to make sure it looks correct. All of our coding begins with a dollar sign. Make sure any coding from your previous system now has our coding. Select the sender profile, put the same trigger rules you had in your other email system, how many days delay, which SKUs it's for, etc. Set them to test mode. Setting up the same rules as for your previous email system will ensure a seamless transfer so that no customer is left out and no email sequences are disrupted or doubled. After testing your emails to make sure they are correct, you can now switch over from your previous email system to Seller Mail. To do this, simply stop all your emails in your previous system in the morning, and then a few hours later, change all of your corresponding Seller Mail emails and Manage by Stats to Active. This way, there is no overlap as our system will only start triggering emails for orders that happen after the message has been made active. Your previous system should be set to stop triggering any new emails and any emails that are in the queue to send should be allowed to send out. The new seller mail messages will now pick up and continue where the messages from the other system end. Let's take a look at a few of the other seller mail menu items. Templates are where you can create basic templates to use in message creation. You do not need to create templates. However, if you will be creating multiple messages that will have the same body and subject, creating a template can be helpful. That way, when you create each new message, you can simply use the template. 
This is also helpful when setting up messages for additional countries. Scheduled shows you messages that are scheduled to be sent. You can search and sort those columns. You can also delete messages you do not want sent out. Sent shows messages that have been sent. You can sort and find messages here in the same way. Under Statistics, you'll see stats for all messages. Sent and opened are shown for lifetime, monthly, and daily. Unsubscribed will show you a list of all users who have unsubscribed from emails. You can unsubscribe a single email if needed using the One Email Unsubscribe option. You can also unsubscribe a list. If, for example, you have a blacklist from a previous email service, you can upload it here using the Import Unsubscribed Contacts option. The CSV file should be a single column with each Amazon email address on its own row. There are additional ways to unsubscribe customers in the Customers tab. Payments will show you any payments you've made for SellerMail. And that covers our overview. See the next SellerMail videos for details on adding messages. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.